David Parnum and his eight-year-old son Chase were on a motorcycle when they were struck by a car in Bradenton. This happened last week. Dave was killed in the crash, and Chase is recovering in the hospital. And tonight, the impact of Dave's death is being felt across the community. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan shows us why. Dave Parham was the kind of guy everyone turned to. He was just so thoughtful to help everybody but himself. He always put himself last. He helped countless people in the community, fixing their cars as a mechanic, taking neighborhood kids under his watch. He loved his wife, Rhonda, stepdaughter, Ellie, and was the best dad in the world to his eight-year-old son, Jace. To Jace, his dad was his whole world. On Friday, Jace and his dad had just finished a taco lunch off 14th Street. They were on Dave's motorcycle only a few minutes away from home. Family friend Meg Osborne says safety was key to Dave. Dave would never take him out on that motorcycle during rush hour. He would never travel far with him. He always had his helmet on. He would not have done anything that would put his son in danger. But troopers say around 1.30, a 71-year-old driver of this Kia cut in front of them, hitting them and sending them both off the bike. Dave didn't make it. Jace is still recovering at Tampa General Hospital. He has a shattered pelvis and recovery will take months. He's just been so strong from the minute the accident happened. He's been fighting and he's really pulling through well. But even as he heals, a huge loss will remain for Jace and for many others. Just take a minute because not only did Jace lose his dad, I know of at least a dozen little kids on that street that lost pretty much the only father figure they ever had. He was truly a hero to those kids. In Bradenton, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. Troopers say the driver that hit Dave will be charged with violating the right of way. Tomorrow night at 6.30, a candlelight vigil will be held in Tamiami Tacos in Bradenton for Dave. The community is all wor also working to raise money to help with Jace's medical expenses. To find out more, just visit our website. All the details right there on fox13news.com.